I'm Chris Eddings, publisher of The Daily Record. It's my pleasure to welcome you all here tonight to our sixth annual Innovator of the Year Awards. It's great to see all of you here tonight, so many of our friends uh, in this magnificent, fun venue, uh, and our innovative winners, our sponsors, and our guests. We're so happy to have you all here tonight. The innovators we're honoring tonight have uh, the courage to make change and the stamina to await the results. Our winners are developing new and new processes, products, and practices in Maryland business, in government, education, construction, industry, finance, and technology. Each one helps a variety of people through their innovation and raises Maryland's visibility as perhaps the most innovative state in the union. Between January and July of this year, nominations for Innovator of the Year were received from around Maryland. More than 70 nominations were submitted. Ultimately, the judges selected 25 winners, representing a wide variety of occupations and industries. In the judges' opinion, all of tonight's winners have made significant contributions to Maryland. Every honoree tonight is a Maryland innovator, but one of them, chosen by our judges, will be named the Top Innovator of the Year for 2007. And on behalf of White for Taylor and Preston, I'd like to thank you, our innovators. And now, I have the honor of announcing the 2007 Top Innovator of the Year. The winner is Alexander Blass, yeah. realitycharity.com. And in my opinion, uh, to be truly innovative, something has to improve the human experience on some level, whether it's directly or indirectly. And the beauty of what we do every day is that real lives are being changed. And I just want to say thank you for this great honor. It's truly humbling. And thank you for everybody who's uh, helped make it um, a success uh, here in Baltimore and around the country and uh, internationally. Thank you so much. Two of Maryland's premier sources of, uh, of business information, the Daily Record and WYPR, are pleased tonight to announce that we have launched a shared content partnership. And this is Tony Brandon, the president of WYPR. I hope you're listening and reading and looking at their website. And we're both committed to providing the most accurate, up to the minute, must have content on the web. Our partnership will allow WYPR.org and MDDailyRecord.com users to move seamlessly between our two sites to find out what they need to know when they need to know it accurately and completely, which is the motto that we both share. 